All right, well, good morning, everyone. Today is Tuesday, October 6th, and if you know anything about October, no, I'm kidding, that means it's duck season opened up here and grouse season. So right now, Kenai and I are headed up to Berlin in the Aral area to hopefully get some grouse. And then maybe on the way back, we'll see about some ducks. He just doesn't like to fetch because he doesn't like the water. Well, in a different turn of events, there was some con... Oh, I hear all kinds of cutting up here, so I hope I can get through. It'll be really upsetting, but in a different turn of events, there was a... Jesus, a big traffic jam. So I was like, oh, I see this road on Google Maps. I will just go around it. And this is the road that I picked. So I'm thinking that even though with my turnaround and probably sitting in the traffic jam itself, I think that the traffic jam would have been faster and less annoyance up my truck. I don't know where I hear them cutting but I don't know so I'm just trying to slowly but safely get through this so I can just get to the other side and to the actual pavement so I can get back on the road to Errol but just want to give you guys a little update on where we are right now we're still <laughs> see we're only like 15 minutes into the trip that's the thing we're not even like far so but this is, I've been out here a time before, never in my truck, but this is a pretty nice little spot. It's called Polly's Crossing, and it's got some good roads. Nothing uh, too hard. I was, I've been able to kind of just do about 10 miles an hour down it the whole time, nothing. Well, everyone, I can see pavement. I doubt I'm gonna get let out, but yeah, look at that. There is the people. I doubt I'm gonna be able to make it. It's the traffic jam that I had escaped and gone around, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get out now, which is gonna be exciting. So now we're actually over, a little over 2,000 feet, and I believe this is the summit, and oh my god. Yeah, kick your door open, that's a good idea, buddy. But. Remembering now, I actually have been up here. I don't know if you can hopefully see Tuckerman's. Wow, that's really beautiful. The cloud cover. It's like a gateway for just that. That amazing view. And then, it's kind of like my favorite. I love the tree cover up here. I like being in higher elevation. Truck may not like it, but I definitely do. That's all that matters. <laughs> I make the payments, but it is it is awesome up here, which the road is a little bit um, smoother, and then there was no clouds, because I think you can probably just see like that faint shadow, and then you have Wildcat. You know, are you a Wildcat? Eh, looks like the cloud cover is actually breaking. Maybe it was just that part and Errol is really nice actually today. It would be very nice. So it reminds me a little bit of Colorado, just like the way how open it is in the spruce trees. Again, not to plug my own videos, but you know, if you haven't seen that one, don't be afraid to check it out. Now we're descending. All right, so finally I've turned off the pavement and on to some rough dirt road. But this looks like it's the start of the actual dirt road part of the route. So, but this says ATV, but I do see tire tracks, so I'm a little confused. Like vehicle tire tracks, so I don't know if I'm allowed to drive my truck down here. I don't know why an ATV would be able to go where my truck can't. 
I mean, it makes sense. The ATV is definitely a little bit smaller. But oh my god, is this a rough road? I don't really, I'm probably not gonna go down it if this is, stays this rough. All right. So, starting out on this little off spoot, the off spoot that I've seen. And, hey, what is that? Don't mess. Hey, stop. Kenai, Kenai. Stop messing with that. He's already being, ugh. That's a dead animal, ugh. He's already being really annoying. Hey! He's not staying close. I hope he doesn't get sick from whatever that was. That would be annoying. All right, let's, let's hope that there's some grouse. You know? Alright folks, I wasn't able to catch it on camera, and yes, this is a little gruesome, but I was able. He and I ran out front, and he scared the grouse back, and it flew right at me, and I dropped him. I'm so proud of Kenai. He's been... I, I mean, honestly, I bet any dog really would have just done the same, but no one really... I've never really seen anyone ever hunting. Ooh, I don't know if you can actually see, sorry. I don't know if I've ever seen anyone hunting with a husky. So, I just thought that was kind of an accomplishment. But now, we have grouse for dinner. Come on, baby. I'm gonna go actually put him back in the truck. Not keen either. Grouse, I don't know if that's a hen or a, or a male. So, I'm gonna go put him or her back in the truck. Because I don't really have any place to carry it on me. But wow, I can't believe that. Berlin. I think I'm in Berlin, still. The first little offshoot, 10 minutes. That's what I'm talking about. I've been <laughs> hunting around where I live, which is a little bit south of here, but it's still, it's still pretty mountainous. But, I mean, I, I was hunting for, hey, hey, stop. I was hunting for hours. I never saw anything. So hopefully this isn't like just one for the day and that's it. But it is early in the morning. It's around 11, I believe. So, I think we'll be good. But, cheerio. So I got to that first offshoot and there's a Jeep part. So I don't know if he's gonna be doing maintenance or something, but he also could be hunting. So maybe no there, but right up here, if there's anything, well, looks like a few tire tracks will have been up here. I don't know, that kind of looks like, now that looks like too much of a road. Uh, I don't know, there'll definitely be some, I don't know, maybe if I should go down that. Well, that's pretty. Maybe if there's any ducks. There's a river right there. I didn't mean to stop, I was just trying to look for the... I don't know if I should try to go down. I don't know, it kind of looks like it leads, looks like many other people would come through it. So we're not gonna, we're gonna keep advancing. All right, well I thought you, I'd give you guys a little bit of an update. It's about, I think two, probably two hours later and I've just kind of just been stopping in every road that kind of looks like there'd be something. Well, there could be some grouse down there, but so far it's been nothing. So I don't know. So I'm, I'm like, I'm almost, I've crossed into Maine. So now I have to go back because I don't have a Maine hunting license. So that's, I'm just kind of just finding my way back now. I'm just trying to see if some of these roads connect. There's one that says it's connect way up here, but I wanted to see if maybe one of them connects sooner. But geez, that beeping is annoying. So. But it just, this is just that it came to a stop dead end, so I was like, oh, I don't want to mess with it. So I'll just keep going. I don't think I've been on, I haven't been on pavement though since about 10.30. It's been pretty crazy. I was going to air down, but I didn't know where to air back up, so I decided to just suffer through it and just go a little bit slower. But so far it's been fine. This road is definitely... Well, not this one, but the road before it was so much better. 
I'm seeing someone fly down an ATV now. Ooh, God, that's, these bumps are so annoying. All right, finally back into the way out of these woods, I think. God, I hope this road stays like this. Ooh. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the way out. Let's hope so. Because I don't want to have to backtrack. Because those roads were annoying. have found their way in there. I don't know, this looks kind of too traveled to be anything worthy of slowly going down it. Yeah, there's ATV trucks all the way in there. Just not like anything would be hiding in there. Can't say that for these roads. Oh, who is that? Some bird just looks like it flew off into the, but I don't know. I don't think it, it was weird. I don't know why it'd be flying if it was like already a grouse. Let's hope I can clear this rock. Yeah, I can. Just don't know the bottom of the Tacoma yet, you know. I'm not really trying to find it out. <laughs> This is a great road. It's not bumpy. But that means people probably come down it a lot. Or I wonder if the bumpy roads mean that they do go down it a lot in the smooth roads because no one goes down it. I don't know. I feel like it's probably mis like it's, I'm swipping them, switching them. It's a little too grown in. But look at how beautiful this is. Yeah, it's getting a little bit rockier up here. Well, another one I wasn't able to film, but I got him or her. Looks like I really took out her or his neck, but it was right down. Oh, I gotta close this because he'll jump out again. He was a good boy. He actually didn't find it. I We both walked past it. It wasn't until I was right next to it that it popped up, but it was, I had saw one fly like right there when I pulled up. So I was like, ah. Might as well just go walk down it just for, because of that. And then I walked down probably another 10 minutes and bam, there he was. I, the first time I shot though, I actually, I missed him because we were probably, I was probably from here from the truck and he started to fly up and I had to, and I shot and I was like, oh, that was stupid. But I waited till he landed on a branch and then I just took him out. All right, so a little nervous now because I just went to the place that I thought was going to bring me to the main road, which 110% should have, but for some reason there was a gate right there, and then I couldn't go down there because there was an also gate. So I'm begging, like absolutely praying and begging that this is not gated off and I can make it down there. I mean, I know that I have a half tank of gas, so I think I'd be okay with gas if I necess if I needed absolutely needed to backtrack. But oh my god, that's that'll be like another that'll be like an hour and a half backtrack. And it'll most likely be dark by then, so I'm really just really hoping that there's no gate on this side. I just I am I could I just like was so confused that there would just be a gate right there. 
at like there wasn't anything that you like no other place around here has been even close to gated or anything every gate's just been open this looks like it's been driven down but that one looked like it had really really been driven down so I don't know maybe there was too much traffic but let's see there's a tire track so I'm hoping that god I'm hoping that I can just get out of this it's it's fun but I've been I've been off the, I've been on recording now yeah for five hours over five hours so it's just like oof just want to see pavement that's all I really want to see all right everyone so painfully painfully of course that's not even a road so I'm gonna have to backtrack to this orange and then go down to here to get to that so I don't have to go all the way through the green where I started but it's gonna be about the same distance but oh my god I cannot like that is absolutely I'm sorry but bullshit that there would be a gate right there for no reason oh. all right well sorry I wasn't able to ooh, videotape it but actually so when I had encountered that gate I never I didn't actually go up to it and um, like look at it because I thought it was someone's private property and I was like oh my god last thing I want to do is mess around with someone's property up here so it was actually open because I had run in, I ran into the owner, not at, like really ran into him, but I had bumped into him as I was driving down the like backtracking and he was like, oh no, it's open. You just got to pull on it. I was like, oh great. Now I feel like an idiot. So thank God I'm finally back on the pavement, but I did happen to see a third grouse when I was going back and I was able to kill him. And as you can see, that concludes another great day of exploring and a pretty successful hunt. And yes, I did get a little upset there, but in the end, we all figured it out and I was able to get right back on the pavement. So I wanted to thank you guys for joining me today. Hope you guys have subscribed and have a wonderful day.